joined by Edmonton Oil Kings head coach Brad Lauer. Coach, a 3-2 loss for your group in Game 5 of the WHL Championship Series. We'll get your thoughts on your team's performance in this one, please. Yeah, I, thought, I mean, I thought, uh, I thought we were a little bit nervous at the beginning of, of the game. Um, you know, I think our second period, we kind of, they had a little bit of push in the second period. We kind of sat back a little bit. Um, you know, we gave up the two goals and then, you know, I liked our third period. I thought we had a lot of pushback in the third period, but um, again, we just ran out of time. Brad. This is a team for notoriously hard to, to, to eliminate. Obviously, they've had five elimination games. What, what, did you, what did you see out of their desperation level today that just makes them so hard to kill off? Well, I just think they, they they just play the right way. You know, they do the little things. They do them very well. Um, you know, they keep things very simple. They don't complicate the game at all. And, um, you know, we got to make sure we we can do a much better job on, on a few areas. And, we'll, you know, we'll address that tomorrow. And we'll make sure we're ready to go game six. What are you seeing on your power play right now that's just not, not clicking? We're just too slow. We're just no, there's no motion with it. It's just uh, very stagnant right now. You know, I mean, we lose Gunner a little bit, Gunther a little bit, but... Um, we should be able to fill that that spot, and you know, right now we're just kind of we're just fighting a little bit, and uh, you know, hopefully we can we'll get back to work here tomorrow with it, go through some video, and get it ready for next game. Yep. It was an emotional win in Game Four, obviously an emotional loss here. How do you kind of navigate the roller coasters of the emotions going into the next game? Well, I, I think now we know what to expect. I think guys are a little bit nervous coming into games. We kind of just dipped our toes in the water here, and we didn't we didn't get in it, and. Uh, until the third period, so um, I think we know what to expect next game, and you know our guys will will definitely be ready to go. And will you have Dylan Gunther available next game, or how does it how does it look for? It's just day to day right now. You know, hopefully we can find some more out tomorrow. We'll, we'll figure it out from there. With all the uh, penalties tonight, did that change the flow for you, or prevent some guys from really getting into it? <clears throat> um. Yes and no. I don't think so because again, we're used. I mean, all the top nine forwards were, were playing uh, special minutes, specialty team minutes, penalty kill minutes. Um, you know, so I don't, I don't think it should have been a factor in, in the game at all. Uh, I believe you said earlier maybe some nerves early. Did you sense the nerves though went away at some point and they just got going? Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, I thought in the third period we had a much better push. We started playing with words. See, we started getting, doing the things that we talked about that we needed to do. Um, you know. Our, our worst period for us, for, for me, for us, was our second period. I think, but I think we, they, they came out with a little bit more of a push. We kind of sat back, and then, uh, you know, we, we kind of watched the game in the second period. But I thought, you know, in the third period, we, we unfortunately we got down that next goal, got down three-one. But uh, again, I thought we had a good push in the, in the, in the last 10 minutes, 12 minutes. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.